bum, ba-dum, ba-dum. A duck walked up to a lemonade stand, and he said to the man, run in the stand. Hey DSMS, it's Mason. Today is Friday the 13th. It's uncertain exactly when Friday the 13th superstition began, but negative superstitions have swirled around the number 13 for centuries. Now to Jake with the birthdays. Good morning, Desert Shadows. This is Mr. H in the new studio. I want to offer an update for students that may not have read the big news from yesterday. Next week will be our last week of in-person learning at Desert Shadows Middle School for a time. This is per an announcement from the superintendent's office. DSMS will return to a PB Connect model for all students beginning on November 23rd. This shift is happening for all schools in PV. This announcement was made because Maricopa County reporting made it clear that we have a rise in COVID cases in our area. And that puts us at a risk level that points to PV Connect as the safest option and model for teaching and learning. We can understand this firsthand because we've had a number of positive cases at Desert Shadows Middle School. We've also had a large number of students that have been assigned to quarantine. When the count of positive cases drops back down in Maricopa County, then PB schools and DSMS can consider reopening to in-person learning. Some in our school community are relieved by this news that we'll be going back to PB Connect based on a safety calculation. Others are very disappointed because we favor the community in which we have in-person learning. Most of us hold both of these feelings in our hearts. I believe that a large number of teachers, families, and students are going through some tough emotions with yesterday's news. For others, the feelings and emotions might come and they might hit us next week. One thing that I always try to keep in mind is that we have more than 30% of our students at DSMS that has stayed on PV Connect this full school year. Many have found a schedule and a routine with distance learning that is successful and healthy. And healthy. In fact, many students have thrived on PV Connect this full school year. For that reason, I think we need to keep an open mind about PV Connect. PV Connect does require a level of dedication, independence, and commitment that I find truly impressive. Teachers and family students, we must begin preparing for a full PV Connect model beginning this upcoming Monday. Not this Monday, but the next Monday. That is November 23rd. Listen, we did it before, we can do it again. Now, just how long we'll, we'll be spending uh, before returning to campus? Well, that depends on all of us in our community. Let's all keep in mind that the coronavirus stays put it does not move except by people. It could be on someone's breath or on a surface as we pass by and choose to touch or not touch. When we distance ourselves from others, especially with a mask on, we really limit our chance of exposure. When we're careful about what we touch in our environment, we limit our chances of picking it up. If we're cleaning and sanitizing our hands and surfaces all the time, we could very well be killing the virus where it sits. This is the reason why the CDC in Maricopa County asks us to do these things. Wear your mask properly. Don't get too close to others. Sanitize your hands and environment and do this because you care. You care about yourself and you care about others. We know that the virus spread is stronger today than it was a few weeks ago. We know that because we've had students on our campus with COVID in, in the recent past. For this reason, these next six days, today and all of next week, these days of in-person learning, these are super important. Now we are an intelligent group of people. We know that the virus doesn't move except by people. So let's continue to do the work that we've done well here. Keep students and staff healthy and safe by washing your hands wearing your mask and sanitizing our surfaces. 
we will begin the work here and now that will bring us back to school and that conversation begin very soon. I want to thank you all for all of your support of a healthy environment. That includes teachers, students, and families. Mrs. O'Boyle and I will be out at lunches today, and we'll be happy to answer any questions you have about what the next few weeks are going to look like here at DSMS. So we will see you in the courtyard, Sidewinders. It's Jake with your DSMS birthdays. Today's birthdays go to Ava Bertucci, Matthew Delgado, Jordan Kettner, Caleb Kupiles, Charles Lawson, Megan Trompeek, Gavani Aguilera. Yesterday, yesterday's birthday we forgot Lily Chenes, and tomorrow's birthday goes to Mrs. Somar. And now to Emily with the sports. Sports from November 12th to November 15th, the Masters Golf Tournament is going to be taking place. So, any of you golf fans out there, hopefully, you guys have fun this weekend. And now to Alex with the lunch. It's out to the lunch, and today we have mini corn dogs, a glazed chicken drumstick with a wheat roll, and a fruit and cheese pack. That's it for today. Now to Addison with the weather. Have a great weekend, DSMS. See you next week.